So Kara Gilligan and other philosophers are asking the question of whether personal relationships are relevant to moral reason. Well, Gilligan and these other philosophers think that there is some relevance between personal relationships and morality. There is such a thing as right and wrong within personal relationships, and there is some extent to which personal relationships affect one's decisions. Well, the next question we can ask very quickly then is, how are personal relationships relevant to moral decisions? So at least some conceptions of morality have to deal with duty and obligation, what you must do, or even what you must not do. And like our friend represented here by Justice, this is blind. It doesn't matter who you are or what other people or who other people are to you, you have duties and obligations to them regardless of those kinds of relationships. Under these conceptions of morality, either you've done right or you've done wrong. There's really very little in terms of in-between. And with some of these systems of morality, if you have not done right, you are subject to condemnation, judgment, punishment. Now consider our friend Eros here, who's going to represent uh, romantic love for us. Now when considering an intimate relationship, such as romantic love, there are very definitely things you do and things you do not do. Now we think we've got more or less a handle on morality and obligation on the one hand, or even eros on the other, though let's not pretend we've got either one of these two completely figured out. Nevertheless, we can ask the question of whether there are obligations, duties, rules, standards you must conform to as obligations within a personal relationship. 